Hey, hope all's well with you. My name is Nicholas Roberts. I'll be playing uh, a lesson for you, and I hope you can follow along. Remember, you can start this over. You can backtrack it, you know, play it over as much as you need. Uh, but what we're going to start in is uh, with major scales. We're going to be going over three things. First of all, major scales. Second of all, arpeggios to major scales. Third of all, uh, arpeggios to major scales with the seventh note of the scale added within the arpeggio. So it should be fun. Uh, let's let's start. Um, the basics of it is the major scale. And um, so I'm going to play a major scale. You can see it. It, it should be lit pretty well uh, where you can follow along and loop it over. That is a, a major scale uh, starting on G on the bottom string going all the way to the top. Uh, between the two strings you have two chords, two scales, uh, uh, room for two scales you can play, uh, two full size. And so that is a major scale. It sounds happy, it sounds glad, you know, it's, 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 it resolves, it's, it sounds good. Uh, you know, you're not like, it's not uh, crazy, too crazy. So, but you can play that anywhere. You can play starting on a G, or you can play it, you know, move it anywhere up here. Or, you know, or you can, uh, and, and that's a basic one, one scale if you want to. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna stick with G for this lesson. We're gonna go to uh, arpeggios to the major scales now is, arpeggios include three notes, uh, or four, however you want to refer to it, of that scale. So the, that's you have the first note of the scale, one, then you have the third note, and the fifth note, and then the eighth note of the scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? So one, three, five, eight. One, and then eight's actually the first note repeated higher. See that? Right? So, and because this is quick and my time's kind of small, short, I'm just kind of rushing through this. But uh, you remember, you can play it back over as much as you can. Now, this is really good because uh, now what you can do with this is when you're playing solos and things, you can just. Um, um, right? You can you can just play them all in a run together with those arpeggios. You see that? That's a chord. Sounds pretty. Sounds natural. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna. Um, Add the seventh to that arpeggio, and it'll give us a different sound. I hope you like it. Uh, I'm actually going to lead in to the uh, the root of the chord with the seventh when I do the exercise. You'll see it. That's what it sounds like. Now here's how it breaks down. Uh, the first note. The root of the chord is G, the third note, the fifth note, the seventh, then it resolves to the eighth. Did you catch that? Right, you can kind of feel it leading in there, right? All right. Uh, now notice I'm not moving my, my fingers to the left or to the right, making it more complicated than it is. I'm just keeping it in my fingers to a fret, assigning them a fret, that way I can just go freely between them. So let's play that back to back to back, all three of those things, and I'll wrap it up. The chord, or the scales, the arpeggios, and then the arpeggios with the seventh.
Hope that helps you, and uh, vote for me. I, I, it's pretty simple, but it's good stuff. And uh, oh, an example of that, really quick, is not this part. Hope that helps.